Love, love, Baker. Choose me. Love me. Hey everyone, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel at Female King Nails. Today's video is pretty much going to be um, pretty much going over me doing nails, um, my step, my process and everything of my acrylic application. On her right hand, we're pretty much going to speed through it just because I get out of frame a lot of the times and it's kind of going to be pointless of trying to describe everything when a lot of times you won't be able to see it but on my ball method I normally do two two balls but sometimes I can do three or four it honestly doesn't matter on you know how many you use just as long as you create a good structure you have um, a strong apex and the nails aren't you know thin or anything to where they won't last so right here she got coffin long um you might notice on her nail beds they are kind of white she's a um, she's a nail biter and i think she's low on calcium and whatnot so that's why her nails kind of look like that it's not due to any of the acrylic or anything it's just um like a habit of her biting her nails but um we've actually been doing a lot of uh steps and growing her nails out taking care of them making sure that they've been getting done so i make sure um to upload some pictures and whatnot or you can also too look on my instagram at female king nails and you can see when we first started on her nails how short they were and how long we've grown them out as well the brush that i'm also using is a creation brush i got it down at um the store max nail supply I'm pretty sure you could probably order the brush, you know. I got a size 18 now. So we're almost done with this hand. And I could go through the steps on the other hand. Bob, Bob, Baker. Choose me. Love me. breathe for a second I know they look horrible please don't talk about me the video down because we're about to move on to the other hand and you could actually see my process and um, how close I try to get but also try to stay away from the cuticle area and whatnot. have to make sure you have a good powder ratio on your brush if it's too wet you know the product can just go anywhere and it can touch the skin and whatnot if it's too dry it'll be hard to work with it but you can also um when you do the two bob method it's more easier to kind of control your product because sometimes trying to do one bob method you try to pick up so much to work it work its way down that um, it gets too thick but when you do a two or three ball method you could actually um, pay attention to your powder and to see if you're using too much or too less you know it creates a good structure as well that's why I really like doing the two or three ball method though it takes more time it's still kind of worth it 
to me in the long run. You get a lot of girls whose nails actually last a little bit longer too. And also too, if they were to break a nail, um, it's not gonna hurt as much or it won't damage the nail as much. A lot of things that you wanna look out for when applying your acrylic is to make sure it's not on the skin. That's why I try my hardest to, you know, swipe the sides and around the cuticle as well if you think it touched the skin. When the acrylic actually touches the skin, it's more prone to lifting. And when you have nails that lift, you know, you get the fungus, the water underneath it and everything kind of damages the nail, the nail turns green, and you know, you won't be able to get to enjoy your nails as much as you want to. So that's why you have to also make sure when you're applying to have a good ratio to be able to control it. take my file at an angle on both sides once we move on to her left hand you'll actually be able to see it a little bit more with um, filing we actually got a out of frame a lot of the times just because of how my tripod was set up so that's why we try to fast forward through that hand like to shape the nail and then apply and then shape up again because I already have my shape that I want so all I have to do is just clean it up and it takes less time for me trying to actually use the file so much to shape all of the acrylic into place when I already have the shape that I want I just need to make sure it's straight enough for her you can see you go in side by side then you straighten out the tip. Sometimes I might uh, flip the brush upside down or so. It's a weird habit of mine. You don't have to do it. It's just how I do it to get the um, the side the side walls actually straightened out a little bit more. Sometimes I also like to pinch um, 
the skin back a little bit because sometimes it does uh, touch the, the nail on the sidewalls. So all you have to do is kind of push the skin back. I'm just um, grazing the top part, the end part of the, the nail tips to straighten out to make it smooth. Um, when you polish, you also want to get the, the free edge of the nail too. Majority of the time I use um, a STF drill bit, sometimes a medium, sometimes coarse. Or sometimes you won't need um, a coarse drill bit, depending on how smooth your acrylic application So I go around the cuticle area with my drill bit and then I buff down. I um, drill down any lumpy parts, any lumpy areas or anything to straighten out the nail. That way, when it's time to polish, the application, the polish application will actually be smooth. the skin because sometimes depending on the drill bit you can't cut a person and trust me when you cut a client they are not happy about it what I'm actually using is uh, one of my many pros I actually bought it at one of the it's a nail supply store that we actually have down here in St. Louis. I actually got my drill at a um, at a discount for three hundred. I'm pretty sure online Manny Pro um, Kapoof or I believe that's how you say it. I might have said it wrong, but um, they have it online going for about four ten.
what I'm getting ready to do is change my drill bit. And I actually change it to a, a sand bit. And I used the sand bit to buff out the nail and smooth it down. That way I can buff it afterwards. The sand bit that I use is a horse. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that has watched my video today. Um, the video was pretty much uh, to focus more on my structure, uh, my application and whatnot. So I didn't um, end it with the painting and everything. But I, the picture towards the end actually shows uh, the end results. Um, I also want to say you guys can follow me on Instagram at uh, Female King Nails. That's my business page. Um, I will have more in the description of um, the video and everything. So I hope you guys subscribe and I will make more videos. Thank you.